Hello to all of my Cancers. Cancers, this is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you, Cancer. This reading is for the 31st of um, March through the 30th of April, right? So we got a lot of things going on. We're still in a cycle, that's one, um, that will be ending on the 7th of April, right? And then we're going to end, we're going to start a new uh, cycle on that the total solar eclipse on April the 8th, right? So mark your calendars. If you have your digital journal, we have digital journals and digital calendars below. So mark your calendar. Um, what else is going on? So we have a, the last quarter moon kicks off on April 1st, right? So if you're watching this video on the 30th or 31st, we're in a waning gibbous moon phase and we're getting gearing up for this last quarter moon phase. Waning gibbous moon phase is really about tossing into a burning bowl, you know, banishing, repelling any negative energy and any negative thoughts about things. So you can make room. This is the year of wealth, right? So when you say you want to make room for wealth, that's saying, oh, I got to, I got to sacrifice some stuff. I got to get rid of the negative thinking, right? So let's get into it, Cancers. Let's get into it. I need to get rid of negative thinking tied to people, places, and things. I need to move on from some things. So yeah, let's get it. Let's see what's in the cards. Let's see what's in your cards. This is a general reading, Cancers. Take what resonates with you, only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. If you're just cruising on through, I appreciate all the love either way. Like I said before, we do have um, digital journals and calendars below for those of you all who really want to track your journey, like to wealth, right? That's a good thing to look back and go, wow, you know what? I started out the year this way and now where I am, I've, I, I can't believe that I'm in these spaces, right? So journaling is really a good thing for those of you all who like to track your journey, like, you know, like your roadmap to success and just kind of sort of seeing it play out right there in in real time in your life every single moment of the day how are you investing in yourself let's get into it let's get into it again this is a general reading i'm talking to you wherever cancer is in your birth chart lover's card king of cups we have the ace of cups we have the hermit card the page of swords and then also the six of cups right so we have the Hermit card and the Lover's card, which we know both of these zodiac signs are ruled by Mercury, the communication planet, right? So I definitely feel like when we talk about, uh, here we have the King of Cups, when we, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Six of Cups, right? And then we also have the Page of Swords, right? So when we think about partnerships, this is this card right here, partnerships in business and or in love, I definitely feel like somebody is rec really, this is what I'm talking about, like tracking your journey, really being very intentional and deliberate while you're in hermit mode about what you want versus what you don't want, because it can take up a lot of time to be in, in relationships, whether in your personal or your professional life, where you feel like, oh, I wasted my time. I wasted so many years on such and such and such and such and such and such didn't work out, right? And I could have been doing this and I could have been doing that. Release that. Toss that into a burning bowl. You didn't waste any time. You're working through generational cycles, chains, and curses like everybody else was. Like whatever was downloaded to your spirit, you know, something happened between the ages of eight years old and 14 years old for somebody. You could have moved around a lot. You could have been the, the, the creative one in the family where you made everybody laugh or, you know, maybe you poured into energies where there was a lot of sadness around you. Could have been a divorce or maybe your favorite teacher moved into a, uh, went to a different school. Your best friend could have moved away. A lot of things could affect your sacral chakra. So source is saying to you, when you have that thought in your mind, I've wasted enough time. I'm not doing that again. It will all, it will put you in hermit mode to say when the dust settles and I've had a chance to really think about some things. One, I'm not carrying any more family, um, family emotional baggage. I have a lot of gifts and talents that I've inherited from my family, but I'm not carrying the emotional baggage that goes along with it. So if that means that you got to get into therapy, go see your reader, your psychic, whatever types of forms of therapy, hug a tree, go swimming in a lake, whatever you feel like you need to do to heal yourself, you're saying, I'm not carrying that emotional baggage. I'm traveling light. And so that's why your, your, um, your, um, that is why your anxiety about some things are coming to an end, right? Somebody's going to start feeling more youthful again, because you're not carrying that water, you know, anymore. And I definitely see you moving on in childlike faith. Now, here's the interesting thing about the ace and the six of cups here together. 
there's a lot of temptation. A lot of energy sees you as their twin flame. They see you as a person. And that's why I need you to know your value, Cancer. A lot of energy see you as their twin flame. They see you as um, as their, their, a perfect business partner, right? But it really boils down to what you think, Cancer, for real. It really boils down to what you think because you, you, I can't say you're working against this mothering, you know, and you, you're the mother and the money side of the Zodiac. Everything is attracted to you. Every, all energies, people want your water. They want you to pour into them. They want you to invest and pour your time and your creativity. And they want to help you to water their seeds that they planted in their earth. But the super new you with this, um, with this uh, total solar eclipse on April the 8th, it's a super new you. Somebody's going to feel like they're living in a dream, for real. You're going to feel like you're living in a dream because you're already, right now, committed to, by the time you get to this new cycle, you're already in super new you mode, right? We're going to have a super new moon, I believe, in uh in uh in Aries and so it's a it's a solar eclipse a total solar eclipse solar eclipse is usually happening on the new moon so it's like a super new you and you're springing forward so your energy level is going to be extremely heightened you know during that new moon as you're trying to get some rest and starting to think like because usually new moons are about getting your rest you know processing just coming out of that last quarter moon phase processing running back in your mind could you have done things differently did you waste time here did you invest the right time amount of time in this and so on and so forth but the super new you like i said i definitely feel like there's some energies that are just now awakening to wow I really want to be connected to cancer in that way. And again, I'm talking to you wherever cancer is in your birth chart. But source is like, mm -mm, get as far away from that as possible. Any energies from your past that, that God told you to move on from, don't don't delay. <laughs> you got the Knight of Swords and also the Knight of um, Knight of um, of Wands. Source is like, hey, you got a lot of great ideas. You're intelligent. You're smart. Stay focused. Because what a lot of people are starting to wake it up, awaken to right now, and a lot of you all can attest to this, is that source already had you in motion, right? When you people love, people are really attracted to energies that can stay focused through their storms. So it would be you when you look back and saw how easily you got distracted and broke focus. That was a form of self sabotage. But this is you today. It's the same person. You did the mirror work, right? You looked in the mirror. And so the reason why you're not going back to certain energies because they so easily distracted. They hear certain things about people. They get distracted. They get off course. A lot of people don't even realize that you were their soulmate or twin flame, even if you realize the cancer because they're so busy, distracted by what they're hearing about other people, what they heard about you. So it's just like continue forward motion. Stay as far away from them as possible because... They, are, they had an ulterior motive. So sources are saying, get away from them. You're going to feel like a teenager. They even overthink it because right now I feel like there's some energies that in your mind you felt like they could be twin flame energy. Like, okay, what is this? Until God told you that it was a karmic situation, a job, a person, a place, a thing, right? Until God showed you, okay, this is a karmic situation, when you listen, when you listen to this is this is the advantage of you being a cancer going back in that crab shell. When you go back in that crab shell, cancer, and you started processing your emotions to start sifting through some stuff, right? That's why it's good to not have a whole bunch of people around you. Whole bunch of in, you know, a whole bunch of input you're absorbing. You're trying to process this and process this and pro when you started processing your own, you start praying and sources like when you get to this point right here, when you say, hey. I withstood a lot of things, a lot of betrayal, and I'm good being by myself. Some of you all said, I'm good being by myself. I trust source. And if people want to believe the worst about you because they heard certain things, guess what? Thank you. You just made my decision a lot easier. That's what somebody, I, I'm telling you, somebody caught some wind of people talking negatively about you. And heard some things and you said, okay, they made your decision a lot easier. You moved on. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's that hermit crab. That's that hermit crab. You went right in that her in that shell and you said, okay, you went through, started going through a molting process. And so as you're going through a molting process, remember time is relative. So as you're going through a molting process, that could have taken years for somebody. I mean, for real, taking years for you to get to the king of cuss, become emotionally intelligent. But when you feel like you're being forced to make decisions too soon and you're trying to clean off your wounds of betrayal and Judas spirits and 
family issues and problems and people going on at work, it can really make people think that you're not smart because you're trying to process so many, so many emotionally, or they could think that you're emotionally imbalanced. So it's the same. So yeah, once you have a Kundalini experience and you see the non-venomous snake, you're not going to stand around and wait to see if it's venomous. So you, you, somebody moved on from some things. So yeah, very nice. Here we have the Hierophant card, right? So somebody definitely feels free. You you feel uh, you feel free, you know, from some kind of organization. You feel free from um, some kind of and more versatile, right? Free and versatile to kind of really move on. So it doesn't matter if people sat there and listened to things and called and said that there was reliable sort recent. There was a reliable source told them such and so. The only reliable source is God. Most high guys, the only reliable source. Everything else is a resource, right? And so that's why it was good for somebody to go in hermit card at mode. Here we have the moon card. So you're definitely leaving some things behind. You definitely leave some things behind and, and just moving on. So once you start meticulously looking at some things and God starts showing you some things and some information start coming back across your path, you were like, okay, now that makes sense. I don't even think it was really, I don't even really think it shook somebody to the core for real. I don't even think it shook you to the core. I think it was just more or less like, okay, here we have the Knight of pentacles. You went right on back to work. <laughs> here we also have the Knight of wands again. So like I said, it's two types of energy sources and I need you to stay as far away from them as possible, as far away from them as possible. Like, so here we go. You know, like the um, the seven of wands. I see you being able to defend your decision to move on. Something. I, I feel like for some of you all, it was even laughable. I, I feel like for some of you all, it's two types of energies, you know, that you're leaving behind in the past. They don't believe in themselves. And so it's hard for them to believe in you. So if you said, hey, I'm going to be a multimillionaire, they probably laughed, but they're not laughing now because source exposed some things. Right. So I think some of you all, it was just a good little key key to yourself. And you just went right on back to work. Because I feel like some of you all have experienced that in your own family. Oh, they're never going to amount to anything because that's how they felt about themselves. And so when you when you when that come when that reappears in other phases of your life, that's when somebody learned the beauty of you being uh, uh, the beauty of you being a cancer, right? Or having cancer in your birth chart. It's like okay, I can go into in cancer mode. You started to really um you know really appreciate how you decorate your home. You really started to appreciate. You know, just kind of like the free flow of air in your house and where to position things and all of that stuff in your house so that information can come to you the way it needs to come to you, cancers. And you started going through the molting process. So you're definitely not the same as some people remember you to be. And your intuition is even more heightened, right? You all are actually highly intuitive and empathic anyway, right? And also very compassionate signs. So yeah, you, you definitely have compassion towards people. I'm going to break it down with what else I'm seeing here. We have the lover's card again. Came out twice. Yeah. I feel like somebody's ex got with somebody and tried to they okay let me see let me get this i feel like somebody's ex because the lover's card is coming out twice right um got with somebody who you know how sometimes people exes will go get somebody who looks just like you or like they have some similarities to you because they're not really over you they just they want a clone of you right cancer and um And, you know, and, you know, like inflated somebody's ego about you, about, you know, about them, like in comparison to you. But the thing about operating in purpose, you don't see anybody as your competition. That's not arrogance. That's confidence in most high God, that God gave you a very specific task, a very specific duty to do X, Y, and Z, right? So once God started putting pieces and things together, God was actually exposing, when I look at, so God, you were trying to give people the benefit of the doubt left and right cancer. And God started showing you things and started connecting some dots and was like, look up this. Or, you know, you get a phone call from somebody and say, oh, you remind me of such and such. Oh yeah, I'm related to that person. And oh, okay, do you know somebody that's such and such? And stuff started coming to get information, started coming to you about a lot of different things. For you, it, it was just, like I said, it was, it was just laughable. I feel like somebody had an ex that went and got somebody that was very similar to how you look, 
um, or something about you trying to compare them to you, but in, in, in every way, literally in every way down to your purpose and why you're here. But the, um, but judgment is coming down on some energies. Judgment is definitely coming down on some enemies. I mean, some energies because again, um, and it already happened because anytime somebody has feelings of low self-worth and they're willing to believe negative stuff about other people and align themselves with other people about you without recognizing that if they're in their purpose for God, God is going to expose the truth about everything involved. Then if they already put themselves in judgment under, under the, uh, you know, judgment. So source is saying to you, yeah, this is you right here, right? I feel like some of you all, and this is the, this is the funny part <laughs> as you're moving through your rite of passage. I feel like some of you all even kind of like played along, you know, with some games like, okay, okay. So they think you boo boo the fool. Okay. I'll let you go ahead and just say whatever. I, that's what I feel like for some of you all. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel like some of you all kind of just played along with the game just to kind of sort of see, because people were definitely trying to, people were definitely trying to, um, um, thought that you weren't aware of certain things, but you definitely were. Here we have the hermit card. Yeah, so definitely, you know, um, in two situations in particular, Source brought a lot of information to you all about a lot of things, right? So judgment is definitely coming down on some some organizations who were trying to use people as plants and spies to plant, you know, um, and also somebody's ex, like I said, somebody's ex aligned themselves with somebody that, you know, some people's self-esteem self -esteem is so low, no matter what kind of job they have, how much money they have, know how much property they have, their self-esteem is so low. They don't even know that they have purpose on this planet. That's how low they feel about themselves. Um, they pour everything into, you know, whatever their demons are to a point that they got to pour uh, and I don't joke about mental health on my channel. Let me just say that as a disclaimer, because this is not about mental health. This is about people's demons, right? Um, they have to drink alcohol to, they have to drink, and I'm talking about in excess. They have to take a lot of medication, anything to self-medicate, anything that's going to like, okay, I, I, I feel like I don't have any purpose on this plan. So I'm just waiting to be used by like a, like a person that's walking around like a zombie, that's walking around like a zombie, right? And Source started bringing a lot of information to you, right? You have a guardian angel that's watching over you. You're breaking cycles, chains, and curses. And that guardian angel showed you something. That's one, that was one of the resources, right? Resource, right? So when people chose to listen to negativity about you, cancers, God started exposing a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, right? Some of their family members even reached out to this is something your ex i feel like the ex whoever somebody's ex was dated somebody and their ex and their family members all were kind of sort of chiming in and trying to find out certain things and pretending you know whatever but source exposed a lot of things about a lot of energy so yeah you're not interested in that kind of thing here we have the um six of cups and also coexist so you're definitely moving forward in childlike faith you know, two situations in particular. So like I said, there's some energies now that's feeling like, um, you know, that they're trying to move forward in childlike faith when it comes to just them being inspired and motivated. So it's two situations in particular that, you know, here we have coexist. This is where you learn how to coexist with your own, um, your own birth chart. So I do have a link for free birth charts below. So pull your birth chart, right? So Definitely um, in your perfect, your um, personal and your professional life. That's what these two, this number two, you're, you're definitely not doing any more injustice to yourselves, right? You're your higher self and lower self. You're breaking cycles, chains and curses. And your ancestors are very, very proud of you. So I definitely see you moving forward in childlike faith. Yeah. You know, and source is actually rewarding you for it. When you had an opportunity with all the games and stuff that I'm seeing here in your cars and people choosing to believe the worst about you, Kansas, when you had the opportunity to take the low road, to take the dark side, even in the um, at a, at a um, fork in the road, you decided to take the high road. You basically just, with the information I found, like, I feel like several people reached out to you. And of course, you were trying to give people the benefit of the doubt, but it's like, oh, wow. Okay, like really? 
So, yeah. Here we also have the High Priestess. Your gifts also have been increased. You know, Cancer, which is really, really nice. Um, I feel like somebody's ex e um, boosted their person's ego, right? But the ex didn't really want, the ex did not really want the person, just using the person for money. It's like somebody's ex tried to use you for money. They tried to use you for money. They tried to use you for a lot of things. And so they didn't really want that person. They were just seeing if they could distract you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, right? Try to get the family on board, the other side, the fam, their family on board, all this kind of stuff, Cancer. But I don't, I, you didn't fall for the okie doke, right? So you already, I feel like somebody got, you know, tipped ahead of time. So, um, you just wanted to see if people were going to be open, you know, that they're going to be honest about what they were up to. But anyway, they're going through, like I said, source, you're out here winning. So here we have change. When the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroad in your own evolution. And I feel like there was somebody's ex that was definitely their ego was raging out of control because you didn't want you, 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 you peep what they were doing. You, you saw that they gossip a lot of people. They saw you as a hardworking person, cancer. Not sure who I'm talking to. They saw you as a very hardworking person. They saw you as very creative. So you may have a lot of creative gifts. They know that you're incredibly smart. You have a good heart. You're an overgiver. You may have given them chance after chance after chance after chance. And they just blew it. They ruined it for themselves, right? Because not for you. Source is actually rewarding you. I see somebody actually getting married. And, um, and I see you in a partnership with business and in love. So Source is like, just make sure you're very meticulous and analyzing everything so it doesn't come across... That I'm, you know, that you're mixing the negative with the positive. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to be in the moment, Cancer, when you meet your person in business and or in love, right? So you want to be meticulous. You want to sit down and take notes and listen and pay attention to everything. So something definitely backfired because whoever your ex is, their person is turned on by you. Right. And it could be a man, woman or whoever, whoever they are. You could be a woman. It could be another woman that's turned on by you. It could be a man turned on by you. You could be a man. Another man is turned on you by or another woman is turned on by you. Bottom line is turned on doesn't always mean in a sexual sense. Right. They could be like, wow, I really wish I had that high priestess gift. Right. They were looking at like the physical of things like physically comparing you to somebody physically comparing, you know, what somebody's ex said and how you were in the bedroom, physically comparing like their physical items, you know, what you had, whether it's a house, a car, your accomplishment, their accomplishments versus your accomplishments, really boosting their ego. But what their, their person didn't realize is that you already know the game that your ex played. You, you already know the games that your ex play. They're narcissistic, they're not living in their authentic. They're not living an authentic life, meaning that they're they're they are living behind a veil of lies about a lot of things. But so when it was it, for you, so that's what they're figuring out now. Like, wow, how the heck does cancer know all of this stuff? And how does, like I said, you're on your throne. Information comes to you. Information comes to you about a lot of things, down to who their person are related to. Down to who those people are related to. Page of Wands. Here we have the Five of Cups, the Magician card, the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and also the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, right? Yeah, so some people definitely played themselves. Like I said, how information came to you. How information came to you. Wow. It, I, <laughs> oh, my God. Ace of Pentacles, what was the motive? The motive was definitely money. Definitely money related, right? And guess what? Your financial independence is... It, it's so many things about you, Cancer, that so many things about you, Cancer, that was exposed in your hermit crab mode. God makes sure that somebody could be financially independent so that you can go into hermit mode and really process all of your water, process all of your water, your emotions. What I mean, here we have page of wands. So yeah, two situations in particular, you feel like a, a not only a huge weight has been lifted off of your shoulder, but your energy level, you're going to start noticing your energy level is actually increasing, right? So it's not even going to be by coincidence by the time we get to this super new moon that you're going to feel like a super new you, right? 
five of cups and also the eight of wands, right? So source is just saying, you know, I'm about to fast track you because you have been obedient. You've been faithful over the few gifts that you had. So I'm about to give you more gifts, more spiritual. That's why I said before, your gifts have been increased, five of cups. And so I don't see somebody lamenting over anything, right? So we got six, six, six here, right? So you're going through a triple rebirth here of some things. Like I said, your gifts have been increased and that's why you're moving forward in childlike faith because some people were definitely bound to their demons. They were bound, I mean, bound to their lower self, right? Definitely. It was like people were, it's like, it's like you, you, I feel like somebody may have broken up with an ex and they were just hell bent on destroying you and just, and all that. Here's the thing about evolution, right? Like it could have been an ex love interest, ex boss you work for, or ex uh, whatever. People were really operating from their lowest selves, right? Really chained to their demons of just like I gotta get, I gotta get cancer back. Like I gotta get cancer back. So that could have meant that you left the job and people got really upset. You could have left a love interest and. You know, they went out here. This like they were in recruitment mode. Let me find anybody that I think would just run circles around cancer only to find out whoever they're with was being played. And you already and you you got a, you got away from that situation free and clear. Like mm -mm. your your gifts have been increased, right? It was definitely dealing with predatory energy, people who like to prey on people's weaknesses. And that's why somebody somebody's ex is person is really turned on by your independence. They're really turned on by your independence and your hard work ethic. Because I'm telling you, some of your ex um, uh, um, colleagues, some of your ex love interests who thought that they was going to get a better employee, thought they were going to get a better love interest, going to get a better friend. They're now looking like, man, okay, I feel like, I feel like a dummy. Like for real, it's like somebody feels like really stupid because people were literally like audibly talking about you, cancer, saying things like, oh, cancer is, um, you know, you look better than cancer. You're younger than cancer. You're, um, you are more accomplished than cancer. You know, you have this over cancer. You got all this stuff over cancer, but guess what? You're financially independent. You had, you have inherited they actually inherited what okay hold on see this number eight eight is a number for karma right they actually inherited their karma while you broke a karmic cycle that's right that's why source is saying stay as far away from those types of energies as possible so when i see people trying to compare you know somebody and listen out for that when you talk about partnership and business and or in love people talking negatively about their exes and all of that stuff and they seem like they real passionate oh my ex is a blankety 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 blank you like you you can say to them right then and there you sound, sure seem passionate about your ex you sure y'all over you seem like because it's a thin line between love and hate and i feel like somebody from your past because they they know they didn't know at the time that you know how to break karmic cycles. They were definitely a karmic relationship. But source is saying to you, now where you are right now, you're actually seeing it play out. That's why somebody is moving forward because somebody is able to, able to play it out. Play out like, oh my God. That used to be you, right? They got their family and everything involved, cancer. Oh my God. So here you are booked and busy and not burdened at all by that mess. Archangel Michael, the dispenser of judgment, is in your favor. Lord have mercy. Somebody's an incubus. Yeah, somebody was definitely with somebody in the past who has sex demons. And it was never about, it was really all about their ego. It was all uh, just ego overtaking everything. Like they, like I said, they told, somebody's ex told the person that they're with, oh, you're better in bed than, um, you're better in bed than cancer when they don't even, child, mm mm, -mm. Angel Raphael, the healer and protector of travelers. So much information traveled to you. It wasn't even funny, Cancer. You just, I mean, you just had, it, it, but see, you weren't laughing at them. It was a, like a good little chuckle to yourself. Like, mm, mm, mm. They still, they still up to that same, same demonic mess. Talking about somebody's ex. Like they still up to, they still talking about people. Still trying to burn rep, people's reputation. Like they stuck, like they are so obsessed with you, Cancer, it's not even funny that the person that they're with, that person now has inherited their demons. Talking about an inheritance, they actually inherited their demons. 
So should you double back for them? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're not doubling back for that mess. Mm -mm. Because now some people want you to save them. You don't have the power to save them. You don't have the power. To, we don't, none of us have the power to save another human being. They want to call you, but they haven't changed. So you continue. They need to do the mirror work, just like you did the mirror work. Your new home awaits and your inner child is very, very proud of you because you got your inner child out of some stuff that would, if you had, oh my God, if some of y'all had procreated with some of y'all exes, y'all, it'd be, a, it's a lifetime of just like, I got to deal with this energy forever and ever and ever. Oh God. Right. So, and, um, and, and some of you all who procreated your children, remember children are a blessing. Your children actually chose you to come through to show you, Hey, you don't have to stick around. You can focus all your love and attention on the kids, pour into them, everything you would have poured into the, the, um, somebody's ex, but child, these exes out here acting crazy. Like somebody jealous. I don't, I don't even see y'all as being jealous. If anything, it's just more of just like, like I said, you just had a good little kiki with yourself. And like, if they still on that energy, like, wow, like what? Go, go, go find yourselves. Go do the mirror work. Like you did the mirror work. Um, same thing with some of your previous employers too. Do, go do the mirror work, right? Let's see if we can get some messages from your ancestors. I'm gonna give you the questions for the moon and Capricorn. So you can get real serious about adding some structure, some boundaries to some things. So that you are not going backwards to Fay. Yeah. Some of your exes sold the person that they're with right now a fairy tale, right? But see, not everything is as, as it may seem. Be cautious, dear one, for there's a story beneath the tale, right? Yeah, somebody told your somebody's ex told somebody who they um try to they increase they inflated their ego oh let me show you some pictures of my ex you look better you're more accomplished you're this you're that all of this other stuff and and the family fell in love with a narcissistic energy because that's what they were dealing with a narcissist right when you saw that thing that narcissist is like okay if if i feel like i can make cancer jealous i'm going to use somebody who is has this 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 that, and the other that energy was wild enough mm, 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 to really believe in that, believe in a fairy tale that uh, the somebody was selling them. But guess what? Just like, just like, just like your ex tried to set you up, your ex actually set them up. So look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture here. Sources saying, look at the bigger picture because um, uh, when I say set them up, like I feel like somebody's ex employer tried to, you know how sometimes you go to a job and like, because there's so many things that's going on. Look, you know how you go to a job and like a company will try to hire you when they're in the midst of going through a discrimination lawsuit? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know. Whoever this is, I don't know who I'm talking to. Somebody somebody came in on a on a like basically somebody's manager was forced to hire, you know, people with what I, I don't know, what would be a disability? I don't know. I mean, like and I'm not, and I'm because I, I'm, I kind of, I kind of steer away from that word because I feel like everybody is has purpose and gifts and things like that. So, you know, whatever, whatever would just. I feel like somebody's employer was forced to hire um, certain types of people um, after they discriminated. Because there's different forms of discrimination, not just race discrimination. It's disability discrimination. It's uh, 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 gender, sexuality, discriminate, just different forms. But I feel like somebody was forced to start bringing people in and it was just like, and so they went above and beyond to try to be nice and kind and try to, you know, basically trying to, but they couldn't fake it. They couldn't fake it cancer. And so that, that in their haste and trying to go rush and get something, they didn't even go get somebody to replace you they didn't realize they were throwing themselves back into a karmic cycle because they haven't healed from within. They need to do the mirror work just like you did the mirror work. Right? Same something with some of your exes, Cancer. Some of them, they jump right into a, a karmic situation and sources like you learn how to break your karmic cycle while they were entering. They just in a in a never-ending infinity loop of just, kar just bad karma, right? And karma's not good or bad. It just is. But yeah, so... They definitely tied to some stuff. 
Because whoever your employer hired after they talked about you like a dog and, and tried to set you up and do all kinds of stuff and get you in all kinds of trouble, now they got a, now they got an employee on their hands that's taking them through hell. And you moved on to your next wealthy place. This is some of your exes are doing the same thing. They going through hell with something. They got to deal with something, you know. It's a mess, but you out of it, so it's not your problem. Here we also we have the um the five of spades, the seven of spades, the queen of spades, right? And so yeah, a spade was a, was a, a spade was called a spade. Who child? It's just a it's a big old mess. So like I said, it's too, like I said, situations in particular. Sources saying I need you to just stay away from certain types of situations altogether. Uh, we have the seven of swords and also the seven of swords again. Um, we have the five and six. Obviously, we know that's 11. So like I said, your anxiety about some situations are going away very, very soon. As you sit on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts. A lot of people, if you were to tell people what you know, they would think that you was crazy. And it just takes too much time to even show people proof of such. As, it's like, you know, what? It's that's why I said some of you all had a good key key with yourself and just shook your head and say, okay, I already know. I don't even need to stick around and see this. I already know. So, yeah, I definitely see you continuing to move through your rite of passage and just looking back and just seeing what kind of games people play. That's it, right? So, five and five is ten. So, it's just saying, you know, you've gone through enough hurt in your life. If you Once you got into your hermit shell, you already knew. It, it was like somebody's ex-job or ex-love interest or ex-friend was so predictable. You could have written out a script and could have followed it to the letter and because you already knew exactly how they operate. You know how they operate. Some of your exes like to get close to people's family because they're narcissistic. They like to get close to people's family. They like to get everybody's family in a big turning people against each other. And that's what you know some of their your exes new person has to go through. Or they may have already gone through because they may have moved on to their next supply. Um, they got to go through the same stuff. And your your cycle is broken while they're in a karmic cycle. So just because they bought into this, oh, you're, you're this and that over such and such and such and such. They actually... Somebody's narcissistic ex preys on um, a uh, narcissistic manager, narcissistic family members. They actually look for their next supply. So if it was a narcissistic mom or dad, they went and got somebody that, you know, maybe the same kind of same something as you and just like tossed you away like you was trash. Oh, like, oh, God, I, here's my new son or daughter. Just like I said, pure. <laughs> like I said, here you are. Source is saying to you, book them bit. Like I said, you've gone, you've gone through enough hurt and pain. So here we go again. Here we have those set of six and four. Of um, Here you are building a, a, a le your legacy wealth with somebody, which is very nice, right? And so Source is saying, while people are standing outside of your vault door and you're not giving any time to it at all, you're building, you're building your legacy, which is... A, and the cool thing about it is that you're financially independent, not looking for people's... Um, you're not looking for people's... Um, acceptance or approval so people you know i feel like somebody's ex ex manager ex love interest or whatever uh, under that narcissistic thumb and i know that word is tossed around a lot but this is and i don't really say it a whole lot in my readings but this right here somebody came was now free of a narcissist that went from one supply to the next but once you figured out what their game was you were like mm -mm, ain't no way in the world no 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 nope so, yeah. And the sad thing about it is they actually, um, this narcissist actually goes from family to family to family, um, cancers ruining family. So if your family, if, if your family relationships are already fragile, they came in and tore, they bust that thing up. Like they was came in, they would, uh, they would a sledgehammer. They came in and bust those relationships up. Right. So anything was hiding underneath there. Like, you know, families sometimes will say, Oh, you know, who all is going to be over there? And, you know, I got to be careful because last time such and such and such and such, they came in and bust all of that up because they like all the attention on them. And they don't care whose lives they ruined. They just looking for going from one place to the next. But they when they came up against you and you recognized what their game was and you moved on and, and, and protected your energy cancer, they are livid, enraged. So, but God gave it to you in a vision. And not only that, source sent people. Like I said, all you have to do is just be in your house, minding your business, and information will come to you, cancer, for real. Whether it's a phone call, text message, email, screenshots, all kinds of stuff. 43, to find enlightenment, seek nowhere, for it lives within you. 
somebody uh somebody's ex's person who now recognized they were in a narcissist they in a karmic they in a car they're still in a karmic situation and you don't know how long karmic relationships go on you don't know how long karmic relationship because there's always some tied some tied to something right and that person is like looking at every little thing that you do and so it's saying just stay away from them but believe in the impossible you are, I think I said this in one of your previous readings, you are rare as a, as a blue moon. And, and people are saying that they like, man, you know, and that's why your ex is so mad because there's no more supply. There's no, they can't come back to you for anything. They can't even come back to you for a drop of water, nothing, because they don't have any access to you at all. Some of your jobs better not even look like they're going to call your number. <laughs> you deserve success. And that's exactly what you're getting. Success. That's right. You deserve success. And that's exactly what you're getting. Because like I said, that's when somebody's starting to learn the difference between. So when you start saying, oh, I wish my ex would call. You better listen to God. If God is telling you this a karmic situation, I wish I wish I could go back to that job because at least that job had this. And at least they had jobs. God said, I got you. I answered your prayers. You better keep on moving forward before you throw yourself into a karmic situation because you don't know how long it's going to last for real. It can literally feel like it's going on for infinity and beyond. That's what it can feel like. It's going that number eight for real. Turn it to the side. It looks like an infinity symbol. So it's just like get as far away from those types of energies, period. Because like I said, you, you're financially independent. You're focusing on who you're going to be building your legacy with, and that's very important, and you're very close to that. You've been working hard on yourself, doing the mirror work and everything. Here are the questions for the moon and Capricorn. First question is, what are your top three priorities this week, month, and year? The second question is, what are your biggest fears? The third question is, do you have specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you? The fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? And then last but not least is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development? And here's the thing, quiet is kept. Somebody's ex, um, somebody's ex person who is now really, really turned on by your gifts, your high priestess gifts, right? Because they even try to compare your gifts to their, they try to compare physical, spiritual, everything with you. Like, like they were looking for a clone of you their family situation is already fragile as it is so that person was able to come in and bust up a whole lot of relationship and expose a whole lot of stuff because again they, the narcissists they make it all about them right but your the um like i said the energy wants to reach out to you because they bought into a fairy tale that just wasn't true and so had they, you know, had they before they got, that's why I tell people that before people get knee deep and stuff and they start believing what other people are saying about their exes, they may want to make a phone call to the ex. <laughs> they may want to make a phone call to the ex, right? And see, okay, um, I'm just started, but see, a lot of people won't do that because they so caught up in their own, you know, whatever. I mean, and, and like I said before, you know, um, to find out like, I mean, what you have to deal with, like what? They start having those conversations. And so, but anyway, that's what I have for you. Hopefully those questions have helped you. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.